All right, guys, so uh, got the truck back in the shop, got it jacked up on jack stands, got the oil drain, and I got everything in the wheel well out, ready to go. Uh, pretty much all access to the oil cooler. Um, I thought about taking the tire off, but I don't think I'll need to. Uh, I got to took the inner liner out so I could get a light in there and see. Because right back in there is where I'll be working. And there's a crossover pipe from the water pump to the oil cooler. I'll need to get out of there, possibly. I'm not quite sure what all needs to come out. So I'll kind of find out as I go. Now, the kit that I got was from Merch Automotive. And it was a complete oil cooler kit. And it took a few days to get here. It took a little longer than what I thought it was going to take. But I believe this is the actual gasket that is leaking. And it is where the elbow actually attaches to like that plate that bolts to the back of the block that the bell housing bolts to. But we got the actual oil cooler O-rings for the oil. Then that crossover pipe from the water pump. And then that elbow. So... I'm going to get started on that. All I got left in it is a coolant, I guess. I have the oil drained and I got the oil filter off. I wanted to show you just which elbow I was talking about. So that's the oil cooler there. And then there's the elbow that goes into this crossover plate. Well, I got that elbow loose and I'm currently letting the coolant drain. There is no real easy way to get the coolant drained on these trucks because I don't believe there is a petcock on the radiator to drain the coolant. So, fortunately, this is what it has to be. So, a little bit of a waiting game here, unless I really want to make a mess. Oh, and the, the bolts for that elbow were 12 millimeter. So, you can see right there. That is the corner right up to next to the head gasket where it's leaking. Now, I don't know if that's what caused it because, I mean, the whole thing's kind of deteriorating. I don't know if it's old coolant, new coolant, because we did just put fresh coolant and a water pump in it about a year ago. But that is definitely the leak because you can see there's that edge right, right along there where it sealed. And then that, I mean, it had grooved all the way over to that edge. So, yep, I'm gonna get these cleaned up and get them back in, but that is probably the hardest part ever to get out. And I still haven't got the oil cooler out, but it's unbolted, dropped down ready to come out just got to figure out how to wiggle it out of there all right i got all the bolts and this elbow all cleaned up ready to go back on i still need to clean up where the o-ring seats and this and probably where the gasket mates on this side. Uh, I got the oil cooler and the parts washer. Um, it's pretty dirty, especially where that elbow bolts to it. And then where that crossover tube slides into it. You can kind of see where it kind of wore groove. But I don't think it's going to really bother... I don't think it's going to bother the o-ring seal which is the upper ring around that that lower groove there is where that actual pipe wore and clean that up and get that ready for new o-rings and that is probably the worst i think i'm going to call it a night Alright, I got all this today cleaned and ready to go back together. New O-rings on the oil cooler. All the surfaces cleaned up. Uh, that's ready for an O-ring to be slid in there with that pipe. That's all cleaned up. And then got the gaskets on the truck, or the 
gasket surfaces on the truck already. Cleaned up, ready to go. So the next thing, it should be in there. All right, so I got everything back in there and it went together very nicely. A lot better than when it came apart. I think just the, the corrosion and everything else kind of held it together and didn't really give me much room to slide it apart, but everything's on there tight. And I don't have an oil, oil or the oil filter for it tonight, but I'm gonna get that and get that in there tomorrow and get cooling in it. Um, yeah, I'll wait till tomorrow to put cooling in it. So, actually gonna call it a night and I'll get back at this now. And boom, just like that, filming magic. Oil filters on, all fluids are in it, and I don't see anything that's leaking. So that is a very good sign. Um, I guess I'll show you one thing at least though. All right, got a cat on me, and the dog wants to play ball. But it is home. So that is definitely one thing to check off the list. So Morgan can take her Duramax back to school and enjoy it. So that is definitely nice to have that done. Wasn't too bad, just a little messy at first. Hey, you should subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And then please like and comment my previous videos if you like them also. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later.